Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make this dripping watercolour themed cake. I have some buttercream I'm applying onto an 8 inch board and my 6 inch cake on top, filling it in with the same vanilla buttercream frosting and stacking my cake layers. I've used two, uh, three 6 inch cakes in total, cut in half. Now press that buttercream frosting against the cake and pop it into the freezer for 10 minutes. Here I'm applying my last a layer of frosting. This is still the same buttercream by the way. Adding it at the top and the sides as well. And I'll have a link in the description box giving a demonstration on how to make this buttercream plus the recipe. Go around quickly with your bench scraper to um, even off the buttercream and then slowly to give it a smooth finish. I put my um, bench scraper under some hot water, dried it off and then I'm going around the cake slowly again just to give it that extra crisp clean finish. Once you're happy with the sides, clear up the top. I've used my spatula and bringing that lip of frosting into the center. I also run it under some hot water and just here I'm going over it to smooth it all down. Pop it into the freezer for 10 minutes. In the meantime, we'll prepare our buttercream frosting that we're gonna be um, piping onto the sides of the cake. I've got some Glad Wrap and piping, or just kind of spooning some different coloured buttercream next to each other. Pull the cling film onto the side until the buttercream is touching and rolled over. Make sure it's nice and tightly packed and give it a roll. On one end we'll snip it off to reveal the buttercream. Just like so. And then we have a piping bag cutting off about an inch from the bottom to fit in my 1M piping tip. And then with the buttercream revealed, stick that side down towards the tip of your um, piping bag. Pipe some out until all three colours are showing through evenly, just like so, and then pop that aside. In the meantime, I'm preparing my watercolour palettes here. So I've got some gel food colour and I'm applying some vodka into each plate. You could use um, rose water instead, vanilla, um, lemon extract, or some people even like to use... Uh, vinegar as well, clear vinegar. Make sure it's all nice and saturated with the colour. And then using a brush, dab it onto your cake. Now I've actually let my cake rest in the fridge some more for about 20 minutes before I applied it, so my buttercream is nice and hard. And then I'm creating a bit of a drip here um, for each colour. You might need to draw in a bit of a road for the drip to travel down, as I'm doing here, just kind of um, drawing in a little line coming off that main body and then I'm dabbing 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 and making sure that enough of the liquid is sitting there until a little droplet is formed and it runs down the cake. Do this for all of your colors. Now this actually took me a while. If I had used a much larger brush it would have taken me like half the time. So I would recommend using a large brush when you're doing this. Also try to blend the colours into each other as well. So I've dabbed a little, um, just a couple of brush strokes into each colour next to the one that I'm using. I'm also trying to incorporate different colours in one drip. And that's it. There's your watercolour dripping. As the second last touch, we're going to pipe on our border. So I've got the buttercream half on the cake and half off the cake. And I'm just piping a shell border like so. For the very bottom and for the top as well, I've used some cotton candy or fairy floss. And I'm just lining the bottom cake board with it. Fill in the top as well. Or you could leave it blank, depending. However you like the look of it. But I filled mine in. Pop on a cake topper and you're done. That's how you create a watercolour dripped rainbow cake. Very, very easy to do and actually very therapeutic as well. Blending all those colours, watching it drip, it's a lot of fun. Um, one thing I might quickly note is if you're going to embellish it with cotton candy or fairy floss as we call it here in Australia, I would recommend doing this at the very, very end. Do not refrigerate it after this. And try to keep it away from moisture because this absorbs moisture like 
anything. So if you can, pop that on at the very, very end um, as you're displaying it or as you're handing off the cake. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and do give it a go. If you like little cake toppers, I do sell these on my website, rosiesdessertspot.com. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll catch you again next time.